So today I'm going to be showing you all some fashion with the new Osmomancy gloves. Now I'll be showing some sets that I made as well as some from my Instagram and Discord. And if you like any of the sets shown then please drop a like and consider subscribing for more Destiny fashion. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what exotic fashion you would like to see next. And without further delay it's time we get straight into the sets. So this is the first set I made using the Osmomancy gloves. I went with a samurai sword look using these curved pieces and horns to match with these shape of the gloves. Now the shader I used here is Echo Danga from the new Vow the Disciple raid. The colours really help with that samurai look and it's also perfect to use with these robes as there are bluish pads which cannot shade. Now for the helmet I'm using the Tusk of the Legions. This can be obtained right now from the Season of the Risen and what's great about the shader on this helmet is that it creates a bluish glow that matches with the colour of stasis. This is easily for me one of the best obtainable hoods you could use with the exotic so go pick this up if you haven't already ready. Then for the gloves we have the Osmiomancy Exotic from Legend of Master Lost Sectors. Now what's great about this shader is that it actually hides a lot of the patterns you can see on the cloth bits. With some shaders this pan can stand out and look awkward compared to the robes. Now for the robes we have the Iron Remembrance Vestments from a previous Iron Banner. So I would again recommend the Tusk the Legion's robes with the set. Then as for the boots we have the Dendrite Shimmer from the Dawning Events. I really just like how the plating is shaped on these boots. It matches really well with the chest plate part of the robes. Another great pair of boots you could use is the Nemian from the Season of the Lost. And then there's also the Iron Foreigner boots from the current Iron Banner set. Then finally for the bonds, this is from the Marathon set in the Bungie Anniversary pack. You don't want to use anything too big and flashy as it can clip through the shoulder plates quite easily. Bonds like the Raft Trail also blend well with the patterns used in the set. Now there is another shade I'd really like to use with this set and it is First Frost. It adds a really nice galaxy texture to the pieces and I think it just looks awesome across the entire set. Now unfortunately this shader was from Season of a Dying so it is no longer obtainable. Now here is a bit of a different set and I call it the Timekeeper. I was actually really surprised with how this set turned out as I haven't really used the shader Kairos Bronze. So I first want to go over is the robes which is the Vigil of Heroes. This was from a previous season's Vanguard set and what instantly caught my eye is the shoulder piece and with how the exotic is shaped I knew these two would instantly pair really well together. Together. Now for the bond I knew I had to find something that blended really well from the shoulder piece to the gloves and the best thing I found was the annealed shaper which randomly drops from ledge drain grams. Another cool detail about this set as well is that if you look at the bond and this wrist piece they do almost look the same. Then for the helmet I chose the inside Victi which is another piece that can drop from ledge drain grams. Again looking at this set from the side you can see the helmet arches perfectly just like the shoulder plate and it also has this nice blend between the whites and the bronze. And then for the final piece which is the boots I use the inspector's boots which is from a rare set in Witch Queen. The way the boots shade blend really well with the cloth on the robes and then at the end of the boots it has this nice plated bronze to match with the exotic. Overall this is one of my favourite warlock sets that I've ever made but I'd love to hear what you all think of the set in the comments below. Now here's another set I made that has more of a scavenger look. I wanted to use the shader Gambit Jade Stone as it returned in Witch Queen and it also creates a glow on these gloves. Now I again use the new hood from Season of the Risen as it blends really well with the exotic. With the shader Gambit Jade Stone it makes the glow in the eye a very bright green and makes the set look more demonic. Now to match more with the horns on the helmet I use the Iron Forerunner Bond from this season's Iron Banner. Then for the robes I'm using the Lightkin from the Season of the Splicer and this can now be obtained from Shears Loot Pool. And then finally for the boots we have the Hold Fast from the Season of Arrivals. Now here is another scavenger set and this helmet instead uses the Iron Forerunner. The robes are the Scorned Baron from Ledge Drain Grams. And then the boots are the Corrupting Echo from the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon. Now the shade you want to use with this set is in Silvered Snare. This can be obtained from a flawless completion of the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon. And note that you can get the shader as a fire team of free as long as none of you die. And here is a final set I made with the exotic. I mainly want to show with this set that the Dawning pieces are really good to use. Like the Dendrite Shimmer from the most recent Dawning event. If you want to go with a nice all white shiny look then I would recommend the shade of bitter pill. You will want to use gambit chrome though on the gloves as it doesn't get that shine like on the other pieces. Now for the hood I did use the looser knight. The only issue with this one is that it does have this red visor piece which cannot shade. There's also the frost reach hood and also the winter heart which I unfortunately did not purchase. If you wanted to you could also use the celestial ornament or even the celestine hood magnificent from the previous solstice event. The glow's coming off the helmet very well 
match the robes. And as you could see, I also used the same magnificent piece on the bond. And then as for the boots, I used the marathon ornaments from the Bungie Anniversary Pack. The reason why I think these boots work well with this set is because the groove design actually matches really well with the patterns on the robes. Now there is another shader that I quite like with this set, and that is Xeno Silver. This matches really well with Stasis, as on the plating, you can see it does have like a blue frosted look. But anyways, they are pretty much all of my sets. Don't forget to let me know what you all think of them in the comments below. Now I'm going to be showing you all some sets from my Instagram and Discord to give you even more set ideas. Starting off with Mango, and you can see that they are using the Winter Heart robes. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of the Dawning robes really work well with the exotic, and I think the Inside Victor is a really good choice as it blends very well in shape with the robes. Now here is another set that Mango made. You can see they went with Midnight Smith to get a nice carbon black with some reds. I think the Corrupting Echo does flow pretty well with the exotic, and this is mainly due to the helmets they're using. Again, another piece from the Winter Heart set, and it does add a lot of this spikiness to the helmet, just like the shoulder plates. Overall, I think Mango did a fantastic job on both of their sets. Now this next one comes from Shrigma and uses the new shader Ruinous Clash. Now a small detail I like about this set is that the patterns on the exotic very well match the ones on the robes. And as well as this, I think the Ash Raven Zion Hood is a really nice choice with these robes. Unfortunately though, this can no longer be obtained. Now here is another set that Shrigma made and I quite like how different this looks. The way the gloves are designed actually pair really well with the robes. And I like how you have this nice flat white on the helmet and the boots to contrast the purple and reds. Hopefully we will see this hood return at some point as I do quite like this Iron Banner set. Then we have this set from Oxy that uses the shader First Frost. They went ahead and used all different sets from the Dawn and event. This is just another great example of how good these pieces are. Now they also have a purple and gold look using the new shader Royal Treatment. Now if you didn't know the purple gem as well as the gold on the helmet cannot shade. So it's a really good choice using this shader to blend the other pieces with the hood. And overall it does look pretty good. Now next up we have a set from Satman which used the new shader Lucid. Again a nice use of the frost reach pieces. But what I particularly like is how the marathon hood blends with the robes. And you can see from the reflections it does have these blue and green shines. Almost making the set look like the Lucent Hive. Then we have a set from Sniper Adept that uses the shader and reaches dream. This has a nice white look with some lighter purple accent colours. I really like the use of the Meridian Constellation visor as the gem design on the face very well matches the gloves. So overall a really good choice of armor pieces. Then we have this set from Easy that uses the robes of the Great Hunt. Very similar to the Reverie Dawn with our curved shoulder plating to match the shape of the exotic. But with these robes you can also see there has some additional plating on the elbow parts. And this actually transitions really well with the exotic. Now there was another set that used these same robes and this was from Hike. If you didn't know the hood they're using actually has a red visor piece which cannot shade. So that's why they use the shader Dreaming Cast to pair the red visor piece with the cloth on the robes. Then for these final two sets we have this look that is based off the base colours of the exotic. And this set from Marquis which is an underwater set called the Drowned. I quite like the idea with this set and I think it could be improved if you try and match the pattern on the gloves with the glow on the robes. But anyways they are pretty much all of the sets. Thank you to everyone who submitted a set for this video. If your set didn't get featured in this video then don't worry there will be plenty of opportunities in upcoming exotic fashion videos. And I actually have a best of which queen fashion competition happening right now and if you want to participate then I will leave a link to my discord in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and an extra thank you to all my YouTube members for the amazing support. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video.